Hey everybody. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey everybody. It's Brenda with Foxy's Creations and today we're talking magazine images. So I'm just going to wait for some people to come in. And sorry, I haven't been live in the last few days. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a head cold, but I wasn't live because we had rain. Internet was horrible. And I'm hoping that it sustains today. So, so I see we have some people. Hi and welcome. And we have an echo because I need to turn my phone down. There we go. So I know we need glue sticks. So I'm going to go through how I pull images from magazines and that kind of thing. And these are new. I don't keep them around anymore. I go through them, pull out images, and I'm done. So I don't even know what's in these. This one has a nice cover on it, though. It's nice and thick. Is that the cover? That is the cover. Okay. And that's pretty thick paper. So if you want to keep it for the thick paper, I say go for it. I'm going to keep the little doggy. And I don't want her. I keep watches. I don't know why. Oh, there's two of them. And I'm not going to worry about trying to fussy cut the watches right now. She's going to go in the garbage. These are going to go in our little keep pile. It probably comes from watching Dee Dee Willingham. I don't like her particularly. Now, another thing you can do with these once you've harvested your image, I am going to use them like to glue if we glue anything down. As a place to hold it while I do my glue stick. If I get glue on the page, I don't care. You can glue them together. You can also use the, your magazines as a glue book. And just so over your pages. And glue stuff back in it. My pages are sticking. Nah. If it don't speak to me, I see they used to have a bird on the Van Cleef pages, and I used to save the bird. But there's no bird today. Hey, Tina, how are you? Thank you for coming. We're just flipping through the magazine. And it looks like autofocus is on. Yep. I don't know why. I turn it off. Let me fix that. I'm doing good. I have a slight head cold. Oh, I like the butterflies. I'm waiting on my camera. 
software to come up. Okay, so I can turn the autofocus off. Yep, autofocus on. No, we don't want that off. Okay. But I do want these butterflies. So do you collect um, magazine images, Tina? I will fussy cut them better later. I think a lot of us do because it's a good, you know, it's an inexpensive way if you already subscribe. Now, these magazines I got free. Um, I've typed in free magazines in um, Google. So even the Harper's Bazaar was free. I didn't pay for it. And it's a two-year subscription, I think. Same thing. And it shows that we have four watching. So I know one of those is me. So there's two other people besides Tina. Hi and welcome. I'm not seeing. Any. I'm. I used to save the magazines. Now I've got to where I just flip through. And I don't like those watches. Oh, but I do like this kind of stuff. I don't know that I would wear that ring though, but it's okay. Let me just set those aside. Don't want those. Hi, Brenda. Thanks for coming. Kind of like those little pillows. Kind of like her. Trying to maneuver my magazine so I can cut out this pillow. So I'm almost through with my art solitude project. I'm, I only have to do the walkthrough on that one. And then I'll be starting on the Melody Made one because it's do soon and it's going to be nature themed and it's got this kind of stuff on the pages which is why i thought that would be a really cool image just looking through I do like that lipstick container, but I don't want to cut it out. I just think it's pretty. Right. Paper beads. See, I save all these watches. I don't know why. My watch habit, though, came in handy when I did the time journal back in January. 
I used up some of my time images for that. I could see Melissa doing a creeples page with this one. Is there really such a thing as Daddy's Tomato Kitchen? I do too, Brenda. Hi, Shana. How are you? Good morning. I blame Dee Dee Willingham for my addiction to clocks and watches. I kind of like her face. So what's on the back side of her words? And we have reached the end of the Harper's Bazaar. Oh, wait a minute. What in the world? So this is the actual cover. And I may keep this because it's a flippy outy thingy. Yep, and it's got a spine. We're keeping this. Yep, we're going to keep that. That's cool. We can just sew over it. So we're done. We're at the end of this one. And now we have Marie Claire. It is also a free subscription. I had Red Book, but they canceled it and converted it to Marie Claire, which kind of irritated me. Red Book is going strictly online. That's why they canceled my subscription. <coughs> Excuse me. But I wish I could have had a choice, you know, of what they were going to convert it to. So it just extended this subscription. These pages are much thinner than the Harper Bazaar pages. Now that's kind of cool. That doggy's kind of big. And there's something in here that's about to get my allergies going. Ooh, that's a really pretty purple nail polish. All these perfumes kill me.
What in the world? And I am still buffering. Is anybody else buffering? Okay, guys, give it just a moment. Let's see. And now it says my life ended or something. I don't know what happened. Am I still live? Okay, it's good now. Brenda, is it good now for you? Okay. I don't know what happened. Now I got to get back to live chat. There we go. Okay, so we're back for now. back through here there's really not a lot in these magazines anymore It's just not. Or I'm too picky about what I save anymore. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. I'm just picky. That's interesting, but I don't know what I would ever use the picture in. But I'm going to cut it out. Well, that's a bust. Saving the Harper's Bazaar. It's got better paper. So, I think what we'll do. Where were those gold butterflies? We'll use her. These gold butterflies. And the Doberman. This goes in the magazine stash. So let's get our little journal book. So it's just a matter of what things you like. As far as saving images. I think we're going to fussy cut her. Well, we got to get rid of some of that background. And I like the background. Because I cut this kind of jaggedy, we're going to, will that work now? It will if it's not on a folded over page. Oh, let's just glue her here. So this is where we need to glue stick.
So do y'all save any particular kind of image or... Oh, I don't want to put it on her face. We're gluing the back side of her too. Okay, hang on. I can't work sideways. So, we're just gonna, let's get the whole signature. Okay, wait, we had the doggy. And the butterflies. So let's hi Maddie, how are you in Madison? Thank you for coming. So now I'm just fussy cutting the butterfly so that we can glue it somewhere in here. This book is going to, I think, be very eclectic by the time we're done because it'll have our A to Z embellishment stuff in it and a bunch of different ideas. And we'll, might as well cut the doggy out because we're going to use him too. Now I got to decide how much of this do I want to, I think I'm just going to fussy cut the doggy out. I do like this doggy. So I'm just going to fussy cut the doggy out. And I need to do that a 
little bit better. Okay. So we have those cut out now. Hi, Susan. Thank you for coming. How are you? Hi, Janie. How are you? Thank you all for coming. Okay, so now I'm just going to flip through. Oh, this is a large doggy fit on there. Oh, he's too big. I think let's glue our butterflies to there. And then we'll put the dog in the second signature. So... Don't crinkle the butterflies. I used to save my mag. I would go through, pull out the first, you know, the, the images that caught my eye to begin with. Then I saved them. Because what if I missed something? And it didn't speak to me right then, but it might something speak to me later. I don't do that anymore. So we're going to close that one. Come over here to our second signature. And let's find a spot for the Doberman. See, that's that pocket. Ooh. We could put him right in there. That's a good spot for him. Maybe sit him off to the side in case we decide to put something else with him later. I'll put him that way. Oh, words to Brenda. Excuse me, guys. Oh, the magazine perfumes. So this is our little magnet foldy out thing we made the other day with ledger paper. So really, that's about all I have on magazine images. Just what I do is flip through. I don't save my magazines anymore. I'll save this one. So that, like, when I'm gluing, I can, like, now these pages are glued together. Well, they could be glued together. And then I can, you know, just use it like that. So I have a backing for my glue stuff. But I did get that cover. And I, I look for that kind of stuff all the time. So that. Because this can be cut down and it's already got like a little spine on it. And then it's got this flip out. So, just swing over that. I can turn it into something. So, that's it as far as magazine images go. For tags and stuff. Well, I have a whole bunch of words. And I'm not getting new words because I don't use them. So... I don't look for words right now. But only because I already have words. Oh, bless your heart, Janie. I know showing a house and everything and working and oh bless your heart. It's a lot. And 
And I agree with Maddie. It will soon be a distant memory. It just doesn't seem like it when you're going through it and dealing with it all. And we are buffering again. Oh, it stopped. And I don't know if it's YouTube, if part of it's YouTube and part of it's internet, because I've seen a lot on my YouTube feed where it's like going, they, they go live and then it's part two, part three. So I don't know if it's that YouTube has got some kind of issues going on right now or what it is. But it seems like a lot of people are having a part one and a part two and a part three sometimes. Oh my goodness, Janie. That's all that is a lot. An RV for now and then property in a mobile home. Well, that's cool. I know I remember four years ago when we moved here Nick was here helping mom with daddy I was in Huntsville working and trying to pack up the house taking care of the dogs and it can get to be a lot I mean it really can get to be a lot I had a friend, Brianna, that would come and sit with me while I packed up stuff at night when I get off work because I worked one, thir I think one to ten. So when I'd get home from work at 1030, Brie would come over and we'd sit and chat while I made my dinner and start packing. For that day, you know what I could get packed before I had to go to bed and she would just sit and chat with me and keep me company. So I <laughs> And it helped having somebody there to talk to while I was, you know, packing stuff up. It seemed to make it go faster. Yeah, downsizing. Now, I understand that. So, guys, I wanted to show you, this is the file folder. I don't know if you remember me showing you the little file folder. It's called, um, the videos have it listed. Let me get rid of this. The videos have it listed as a hybrid. So, if you look for a hybrid album journal, this will come up somewhere. It's been around for about eight years. Um, I did get this one covered. I got inserts for the top pockets made. I need to put pockets and stuff in here and do some flippy things. But I learned some things making this one. Um, cover your paper before you put it together. So when I do one and I do a tutorial, I will give credit to the lady from eight years ago. I have to look her back up again. Well, thank you, Janie. But... I'm going to do some things a little different. Like I cut some edges off there. The pages were way bigger. Some of them I cut those off because I didn't like how that looked. They're not any of this consistently sized at all. I am going to put some signatures in here with coffee dyed paper. Um, that's why it's a hybrid. So this these will be album pages. And you only need three file folders to make this. So there's some things I'm going to kind of do a little bit different than what she did. And that's why I have to make one first, kind of experiment and figure out different things. So oh, now which way is right side up this way? And I know that only because the bicycle. If this bicycle wasn't in here, I wouldn't know which way is up. And there's top pocket. So let's see. This is a top loading pocket, and it has in it a journaling card, 
that got put in there upside down. Okay, now it's not going to go back in there. There we go. And then, where's another one? That's not one. Oh, the curved ones are. This is the top pocket. I may put some tabs on these little insert cards. And it's got an insert card in it, which again is upside down. And they are a little tight. And then there are side pockets somewhere. Okay, here's a side pocket. So let's see. Did I miss a side pocket? I did. Here's a side pocket here. And then here's a side pocket here. Here's another top loading pocket. With an insert. I'm not going to pull that one all the way out. Because they're being a pain to get back in right now. But I think I'm going to put some tabs or something on those. So that's all the pockets. You have three top pockets and two side loading pockets that I don't have. I don't have anything in the side loading pocket yet. And then I'm going to put some pockets and some flips. And I'm going to put a signature here. Wait a minute. I had it all figured out yesterday. Signature back here. No. It was working out where I skipped. It was like a signature, skip it, a signature, skip it, and a signature. It's going to have at least two signatures in it anyway. I just don't know. And it's going to have a cover on it. And it's going to be, or I'm going to decorate the cover. It's going to be really cute and pretty. But for the next one, I'm going to do a little bit of stuff different. And make it easier for me. Which I think decorating it before you glue it. Is definitely the way to go. So what's everybody else been working on? And mom goes for her follow-up appointment on the 25th. I think that's in a week or so. I think it's a week from Thursday. No, it's a week from tomorrow, I think. Oh, the Peter Rabbit journal. I bet that is pretty. Maddie, I've seen some of the stuff that you had to work with for that. Oh, my allergies. Goodness gracious. The perfumes in the magazines are getting me. The envelope series. I love your envelope series. I forget to comment, but I do watch. And a lot right now, I'm not getting to watch a lot of live streams because I'm next door with mom a lot. That's why they're putting up a lot more recorded. Plus, oh, gosh. Plus, the um, internet's been in and out for a while. Uh, Brenda still sorting and procrastinating. I understand that, Susan. I The other day, my desk finally got on my nerves. And I sat here and cleaned my desk off. And my goal at this point is when I'm done with something, clean my desk. And not drag something else out. Because I'm the world's worst about getting something new out. Or another project. Because right now I'm working on three journals plus our this thing and these are all the embellishments we've made so far 
Um, so I'm working on three other projects and it can get to be a lot if you, if, you know, especially for me, if I don't put stuff away. So that's why I'm trying to work on putting stuff away in between projects and not thinking about, I might need that lace in the next project. And I'm project bins so that I can put stuff in a project bin and kind of have it for spinning again. And we're back. So we're spinning because I think we're spinning. Our internet's drying out. That's all I can tell you. Brain here. It's supposed to be. Well, what? This is Monday. No, this is Tuesday. Yeah, we have dry today. Tomorrow we're supposed to get rain again. Oh my goodness, Susan. So you haven't been crafting since November? Or do you craft somewhere else? Because I know I would probably craft somewhere else if that was the case. Because I have to craft every day. Well, I can't say that because for the first few days mom was out of the hospital, I didn't craft anything. It was like four days probably that I went without crafting and I thought I was going to go crazy. And I've been working on making, making more flowers. These are to go. The blue ones are for that little journal. I showed you with the file folders. So that's what the blue ones are for. These ones are for on the cover of that file foldery journal. And this butterfly. But then I was just playing. With coloring flowers. Oh my goodness. But I understand when my craft. Before I had the craft room. And. Oh that's pretty just like that. Before I had the craft. I sidetracked. Before I had the craft room. And that. And I was in the living room and the kitchen. I'm finding more flowers on my desk. I think that's all of them that I made so far. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so that's going to cut your crafting down. Um, what was I saying though? Oh, when I was crafting in the living room and the kitchen. All, when all my crafting stuff was all spread out. It made it hard, especially with me crafting when I had the table set up in the kitchen. <coughs> it was harder to do stuff than it is now that it's all in one localized place. But this is a small room and I got a lot of stuff crammed in here. So. And there is a walkthrough coming. I keep telling you all that, but I've got it straightened up better than it has been in a while. I know, and Susan, you're, if you're like me, when I was moving stuff, before I moved stuff in here, so I could go and make it look neater, but there was really no cleaning it off and putting it away because the stuff, and it would overwhelm me, and then it would be like, okay, I can't really do anything, I can't put it in a home, it don't have a home, and my mind would go, and then I would go to panicking, and anxiety, and then I would go... Let me go make something because that relaxes me <laughs> and it became a vicious circle. So I can get it. I, I do get it when, you know, it's, it's it can be like that. Now that I'm in here, it's a little bit better. And that's why I try to keep stuff picked up and put up so that I don't get to the point where it's like, oh, my gosh. But it was hard in there because it was in the living room and there just wasn't space. See, in here, Hubby built me a lot of shelves and I have a lot of shelves in here. 
that I didn't have in the living room, which has helped. So, it's helped a lot. Hey, Deborah, how are you? Thank you for coming. And we are going to be doing a 500 subscriber giveaway. I don't know when yet. But I finally broke 500. Which was, YouTube is doing something with our numbers too, I think. Hi, Angie, how are you? Thank you for coming. Um, I stayed at 486 forever. Even though I would get notifications I had a new subscriber or had a new subscriber. Oh, thanks, Deborah. It never moved. It stayed at 486 or it would go to 487 and then drop back to 485. Well, now that I've hit 500, I think right now it's at 505. But I think I should be about 510 or so because I keep getting notifications. I have new subscribers, but the number's not showing it. So I don't know what's going on with YouTube and our numbers. No clue on that one. Hi, Maria. How are you? Thank you for coming. So, do y'all have that with your numbers or do you pay attention? And I am not number focused, you guys. It's just when you go to your channel, that's one of the things that you see. And I know that mine is, it took forever to go 416. Once I, I felt like once I break 420, it'll be good. But it was the same thing. I stayed at 416 or bounced and bounced and bounced and bounced for weeks. And then all of a sudden, I was at four, like 425. Oh, thank you, Janie. So, and Brenda's the one that let me know I was at 499. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm at 486. <laughs> and then I went and looked and sure enough, it had been, it jumped from 486 to 499. So, I'm assuming this will do the same thing at some point. We're buffering again. Because my phone is not buffering and it's not on Wi-Fi. So see, it's not just me, Maria. Okay. Yeah, it's, it, I don't know what it is. And the buffering on YouTube, some of it I think is YouTube. Some of it I think is our internet. But I've been doing a lot of recordings for that reason. Thanks, Maria. Because I knew the internet with the rain. I could do recorded. It takes a long time to get them uploaded. But I could do recorded and we wouldn't have to deal with the buffering issue. I miss talking to you guys, though. I do. Um, but we can do the recordeds and get them put up and I'd still have content. And for like the artsology project, um, it's for her design team, it's required to do like project craft with me things and that kind of thing. So, and as well as with the Melody Made design team for new junk journal. What is it? New Junk Journal Makers, I think. NJJM. Yep. New Junk Journal Makers. Melody Huey owns that group. And her design team, we have to do project share or craft with me things, which I haven't started hers yet. I know, Angie. Mine's the same way. Hey, Misty. How are you? Thank you for coming. So that's another reason I've been doing a lot more recorded videos. Plus, I didn't want to mess up our series that we're working on. So that kind of thing. And then the iCads. Oh, I missed yesterday's iCad. I got to do two of those.
I think so because like I can't go live from my phone anymore. My 4G is more stable than my internet. So when they took that ability away, it makes it harder to go live. I mean, I can go live with the camera and everything, but my internet is not that stable. We have rural internet here and it's not stable. We don't have any fiber optic. It's going through the cable. Years ago, mother took away her cable because when it would rain, she'd get a snowy picture. And after a couple of days of no rain, the picture would clear up. Well, that's the same cable our internet comes through. So when it rains, we have bad signal for a couple of days or bad internet. And so it's, it's really affected me going live and other people who don't have a camera set up. I mean, I was lucky. I had a camera. I could still go live from the computer. But there's a lot of people that didn't have that. That's what I think, Maddie. They only want the big channels to go live. But how can you grow a channel if you can't? I mean, because anybody that I've watched that talks about going live and well, talks about how to grow your channel. They say the key is going live, doing two to three lives a week, you know, and. So. If you can't go live, you, you know, for those lives. It's hard to grow your channel. It can be done with recorded, but you got to put up a whole lot of recorded videos. And my husband told me the other day, he said he noticed that my recorded videos that I've been putting up aren't getting the views that my live videos get when I'm live streaming. And that's true. They're not. And I know if I did the same content live, I would have way more views on those. So it's, you know, catch 22 is exactly right, Maddie. Oh, you put up an offer on a house, Misty. Oh, congratulations. Fingers crossed. That is so cool. I knew you were going to go look at a house. I had to scroll back up to see the news. Yep, consistency, Maria. And I'm not trying to, I don't care about monetization or anything. I would just like to be able to, like right now, I can't go live from my deck where we could all look at the lake in the morning because the lake is absolutely gorgeous because I, it's just a pain to carry the laptop out there and the camera and unhook all this. And But if I had the phone, now I could record out there, but it's not the same thing as being live with all the, the sounds and everything. So, and talking to you guys while we do that. Oh, cool, Maddie. I hope so, Misty. But if it falls through, that just means that God has something better. That one wasn't the right one, and there's a better one. That's how I look at things. You may think it's the best one, but God knows best, I guess. Right, she uploads daily. And see, right now, I'm trying to do that as well. Um, I know I have a video going up later this afternoon and then tomorrow I'll have another video going up. I have the iCads I got to get caught up on going up. So, and I was going live daily as well before I was doing all the uploading. So I'm hoping that that helps a lot.
Yeah. And, and, you know, life gets in the way sometimes, just to be honest. Like mom having her surgery. I mean, family comes first, guys. And, you know, for two, like that Thursday, when she had her th surgery on Thursday, and then she came home on Friday. There were no lives. And I didn't have recorded content at that point up. And I'm going to tell y'all, doing recorded, and it takes me so long to upload a video. Oh. I know, Maddie. It's funny how that works, isn't it? So, I'm just trying to get my channel to grow consistently. But I'm not going to worry about being monetized because I'm not going to, I know I don't have the view time. So, monetization is not going to happen. I just would like to be able to go live from my phone again. Because I think back to the car ride last year when we were going to Maryland and y'all were all in the car with me and my husband and we were driving down the road. I can't do that anymore. They took my ability to do that away. And Misty, that's the best way to be, I think. That's me. And I can't wait to see the Peter Rabbit journal. I have a couple of journal ideas baking in my head, but finding time to do everything. That's the other thing. Finding time to do everything I want to do. Around family and everything. So these are my cute little flower things. Anyway, guys, I think that's it for now. And we got our magazines. Oh, let me look and see what is in. I have not a clue what we're doing tomorrow. What is in? In is napkin ideas. Oh, this is going to be fun. All we need for tomorrow is some napkins. I'm going to be using napkins, some clear sheet protectors to do some stuff with. Um... So napkin ideas, different things we can do with our napkins and that kind of thing. And I know I'm going to be using napkins on one of my journals. So we might can be doing, maybe I can do a twofer <laughs> and get some stuff done for that journal at the same time. Thanks, Misty. So the, tomorrow is napkin ideas. And I have a lot of napkin ideas. So that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. And so we'll be back tomorrow at this same 10 o'clock Eastern. No, 11 Eastern, 10 Central, 9 Mountain, 8 Pacific. Oh, wow. And I don't know about overseas times. It's enough to keep up with this. So I'll see everybody tomorrow. And don't forget to watch the recordings when they go up. And thank you all so much. I really appreciate all of you all. Because without you, I wouldn't have a channel. Y'all are all set with the napkins, Maddie. I know I'm getting a, quite a collection. But I know for the junk journal makers, um, design team project, I'm doing ephemera. And so it's all nature themed and it's really pretty. And I've already put the papers up. Thanks, Susan. And so, I have Kiwi Bird napkins that are all in, that I got sent from Tanya from New Zealand. 
And they're going to be perfect with those papers. So I was going to use those. Hi, Chris. How are you? Thank you for coming. Oh, you're fine, Deborah. So that's it. And so we'll see you tomorrow for the napkins. And I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks, everybody. Bye.